It doesn't rain much in this arid region of Patagonia, especially not in March and April. So when 400 millimetres fell in three days, more than normally falls in several years, Commodoro Rivadavia wasn't prepared. And although the sun has returned, it's still in shock. When the storm began, we got all this mud. Then the wind blew the windows in and all got inside. I was lucky to save my child before all was buried under a meter and a half of mud in 10, 15 minutes. Just one person died, but many have lost everything. Relief supplies from all over Argentina and beyond help alleviate the suffering. Heavy machinery and hundreds of troops are working to get the city back on its feet. The army rescue operation is over. We're now focusing on reorganizing and rebuilding the neighborhoods, getting rid of the mud, taking water from houses so people can return to their homes. Sparse vegetation on the hillsides overlooking this coastal city couldn't stop torrents of rain-sodden mud flowing through streets, wreaking devastation in its wake. The water has receded, but this damage remains. As the cleanup and repair operation continues, there are huge questions hanging over this city. What on earth happened and why? And what needs to be done to prevent it from happening again? Aldo Sanchez from the local weather station has the meteorological explanation. Unusually high humidity clashing with areas of deep low pressure. The same weather pattern that caused flooding in northern Argentina. He suggests other key factors also played a part. This was possibly an extraordinary phenomenon in this area, but climate change could make them more frequent, causing flooding or drought. Comodoro Rivadavia is Argentina's oil capital, a city where many come to make money but don't stay, don't invest in the future. Some locals blame the devastation on years of corruption and underinvestment in infrastructure. The money collected for public works never stays here to benefit the city. It's taken to the provincial capital or goes to who knows where. But we are always the last and what they do is poor quality. The storm was like nothing this city had ever seen. As the people of Comodoro Rivadavia rebuild their lives, they're wondering whether it might happen again, knowing that if it does, they won't be prepared. Daniel Schwimmer, Al Jazeera, Comodoro Rivadavia, Southern Argentina.